Surprise! <laughs> Smartly! Oh, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome to the basement. It's your vape at five. I'm Black Cat. Good to see you, everybody. Uh, Tuesday. Glad to be here. Today, we are going to buzz through things. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what's on the agenda first, and then we're ripping through stuff. We're going 100 miles an hour today. And I'm going to tell you why here in a second. I have a very, very awesome announcement, very special announcement to me that I'm going to make uh, to the Black Cat fam today and a uh, little audience participation, as, as it were, um, because of this announcement. Uh, today, we are going to do a build that I always talk about, something that I think I've only done once, but uh, I'm going to do it in a little bit more detail and uh, try to explain how to do it. Uh, we'll... Uh, It'll, well, you'll have to get some 0.2 square wire to do it, but this is a build as I've found is the best flavor build you could you can you can run. Um, and what it is is nichrome 0.2 ribbon 0.2 square wire, sorry, um, six core alien. Now, if you have 0.2 ribbon, you could make this as well. You need uh, 12 pieces of ribbon and then alien clapton over top of it. That's that is what it is. Uh, the decor I'm going to use off is a 26 gauge decor, which is my standard decor for all the square wire builds I do are off a 26 decor, whether it be 4.3 square wire, um, whether it be uh, 3.4 square wire, and in this case it is 6.2 square wire. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, it, it's a you know it's a challenging build. Anytime you go over three cores on an alien, it's challenging. And the reason being is because you have to put tension on your decor or on your on your uh, uh, fusing wire. And when you put tension on it, it wants to pull those and turn those cores different ways. It's not like a Clapton where you can just kind of let the spool go through your hand. Um, you actually have to put tension on it to get it to lay correctly. So anyway, good to see everybody, man. I know I'm early. I don't think anybody everybody is here yet. Um, I'm just going to run through, I, you know what, I'm not going to say hi to everybody today. Oh, another thing we're doing is I'm going to finish my uh, feature of Big D Coil. So we will do that after I do this build. I'm going to go ahead and do the build first, then we'll say hi, and then, and then we will uh, do the feature of my Big D Coils. Okay, does that sound good? All right, guys. Oh, the announcement. Okay, so my wife, as you know was in dentistry school uh, for the last uh, year. So she is done and graduated, passed all her certifications. So now she got a job today. And uh, I would hope, if you guys can, go to the Facebook group, which the link is below if you're not a member, and put on there, congratulations to Veronica. So if you guys would do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Don't forget also, Two giveaways going right, three giveaways going right now. One, the giveaway for the um, Chain Vapes video I did on Sat Sunday. You can enter that giveaway if you go to the video and put in a number between 1 and 150. You'll be entered to win three 60 mil bottles of Chain Vapes. Second giveaway is for yesterday's episode. Go to yesterday's episode, put in a number between 1 and 150, and you have the opportunity to win a set of coils by me, a set of coils by Big D Coils, and... Uh, two 30 mil bottles of a Dory liquid. Wednesday is a Dory liquid giveaway day. So do that. And the final giveaway, as always, go to Big D Coil's page. Repost a picture from his page with the hashtag Black Cat Fam to enter the giveaway. That giveaway will be on Friday for, I think, two or three sets. I think two sets of Big D Coil's plus some other goodies that I'm going to throw in there as well. If you didn't get a chance, look at the Facebook page and look at what Darian, and I will do this probably tomorrow, what uh, Daria, Daria, which is um, Drip Kid New York, sent for the giveaway for the for his week. His week will be after, we're, pretty, we're about two months away from it, but on his giveaway week, I literally have like probably $300 worth of stuff I'm giving away that week. So... Just look forward to that. That will be a blast. All right. What we're going to do, I have my decor done. I have my three long pieces of 0.2 square wire done, all nichrome. I'm going to now fold that up and make a core, and then I'm going to alien wrap it. Uh, these will be, I'll give these away on Friday. So when you win my package on Friday, you are going to win these coils. 
which I'm really I'm excited for you guys to try them, man. They are fantastic. It is a absolutely fantastic vape. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, I've been vaping them. I vaped them like twice. I just uh, got another BTFC, which I I I absolutely love that RDA. I mean, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I got another one, and I'm gonna put uh, these in that for a. Uh, I got a new little squonk mod coming called a clutter mod. Uh, I should be getting that probably by the end of the week. I hope at least it's coming in from Italy. <laughs> Hopefully it is here by then. I don't know if it will be or not, but I'm hoping it will be. All right, guys. So let's take this here. All right. I'm going to hold these three pieces of square wire in my fingers here. Hold them straight up like that. Keeping them nice and flat. Lick my fingers a little bit. Run it down and just give a nice pinch to make sure I keep all those together. I want them nice and straight. Just one more time, just like you would do with ribbon. I mean, this is basically the exact same size as ribbon. I mean, it is 0.1 millimeter bigger, but it, it's, it's small to work with. All right, now we're gonna fold it, the ends together, keeping them nice and straight. There we go. That's how I want them pinched. I'm just going to take these, pinch them down here where they're nice and straight together. And I'm just going to zip it up. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go up top here and just rearrange them. I got them pretty much how I want them but I want to make sure I get it nice and set. Now, it's really important that I get this, this part done. This is the most critical part of the build. I need to make sure these are stacked perfectly because if they're not, when I start putting tension on the drill and pulling it, it's going to try to pull all these cores all different ways. So I'm going to put this together, spread those out a bit, put them together. Still holding it up top here to keep them all separated. Give it a nice pinch. That looks good. All right. That is the hardest part of this build, honestly, is bending that over and keeping them all going the exact same way. What I mean by that is you want the one on top to be on top on both sides. You want the one in the middle to be in the middle on both sides. And you want the one on the inside to be on the inside on both sides. You don't want it to mix up. What that'll happen if you do that, then when you start putting pressure on the drill and pulling, it's going to pull them into that form. That's not what you want. Or pull them out of that form, I should say. So... What I need to do is grab my nylons. I got a nice tight wrap on the top there. I'm gonna put that on there nice and tight. So it's flattened out and it won't move. So that's perfect. I want it nice and straight. Oops. Now you have to be really careful when you're wrapping this up because this is basically like doing like 30 I mean, it's basically like doing 38 gauge or 32 gauge alien. I mean, it's tough because it is so flimsy. KB Hen, how you doing? Charles, how you doing? Zogberg, Ian, good to see you guys. Clutch, Cows, Church, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining today, guys. Appreciate it. Now, I put in the title, um, I think I put like greatest flavor build ever. I don't know if this is the greatest flavor build ever, but it is certainly one of them. And I'd like to do like more. I'm going to start instead of doing, a, you know, I've done a lot of builds, man. I've vaped pretty much every coil you can possibly think of. I don't think there's anything I haven't vaped. Um, and when I find something that I really, really, really like like this, I'm going to start being more forthright, like start just showing you, hey, this is what I'm doing. Um, like, and, and I also, one thing I need to start thinking about too, is I pretty much only vape square wire right now. And I probably need to get away from that a little bit and start doing some other things for you guys. Because a lot of people don't have square wire or they just don't have the funds right now to go out and get it. Because it is pricey. I mean, you got to get it from KP. It's the only place that I know that you can get it. Hey, Chessie. Yeah, Chessie, we started early today, huh? Uh, not too early, though. Like, maybe eight minutes ago. I started about five till. My wife is on the way home, and we're going to celebrate her new job. Well, not new job, but same business, new position. 
and a uh, considerable nice little bump. So we're, I'm really, really excited for her. She, it, it's nice to see people work hard and actually benefit from that hard work. You know what I mean? You know, I, I believe a lot of times in life you make your own luck. You know what I mean? Like, some, you know, bad, you know, you, you bust your ass hard enough and sometimes it doesn't work out. And I'm not saying that it always does, but in this case it did for her. It's, I think it's something that you really have to celebrate. So we're going to be doing some celebrating after that. Or when she gets home. All right. Pull this one down. Sin, how you doing, hon? Good to see you. Bristol, what's up, buddy? Cloud Mechanic, how you doing? You didn't get a notification when I went live? Go figure, man. YouTube is awful. You know what they've been... I, I talked to Pete, vaping at Pete's place about this the other day. I keep losing subs, and I don't know why. Like, I'll go days, and I'll lose, like, seven or eight subs. And he said that they're doing some... Along, like, they've been doing it for, like, two weeks now, that everybody's been losing them. And it's just weird, because it's like... Like, why would somebody, like, it comes in groups. Like, my, I'll, I'll get normal subs. I don't know if anybody else has talked about this. And all of a sudden, I'll get, like, a day where I'm, like, negative six. And I'm like, what the fuck does that, how did that happen? But supposedly, there's, like, something going on on YouTube. They're, like, doing cleanups or something, he said. And that's what we were talking about when I was on his show one day. Because he was like, yeah, was like, he's happening to me, too. It's happening to everybody. Kind of weird, though. It's very, uh, very, um... Uh, disheartening, you know what I mean, to, to do that. But I think what happens is people, like, their accounts become inactive and um, YouTube is starting to pull the, pull them away or maybe delete all their subs or something. I don't know. Sucks, though. I mean, it's not like it really matters because it's not, I'm not losing viewership. I mean, all the people that watch me are still watching, which is the most important thing, but I don't know. Just sucks when you don't really have like I don't have hundreds of thousands of subs where like I lose like nine ten subs I'm like pissed you know what I mean? All right, is Vonica on here? So if you guys would go, there she is. Oh, you're welcome, baby. Go to the Facebook page and put a big congratulations on there for Miss Veronica Gibson. She is awesome oh shit see this is what i'm talking about with this you got to be so gentle with this uh point two so freaking gentle with it all right we're gonna bring this down right behind it right to there i've got it pretty well i feel like i've got it pretty well laid out let just clamp this down now when i do this when I fuse this, I'm going to go really slow. That's why I started early. This isn't one you can just fly through. Um, you're going to have to take your time with it, and you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to accept that there's going to be some bumps in it along the road. But you just try to keep going. You know what I mean? Do the best you can to keep it. Get as much on here as I can. And if you have a lot of problems with it, what I suggest is do one coil at a time. Or if you really just want to do one, do one coil and vape one coil. This is a build that you can vape. If you do um, the point two, you do single coil, this will be around a 0.35, even at Nichrome. Even with Nichrome, it'll be around a 0.35. I just thought about it. I did a, a 36 gauge decor. That may be too heavy for this, so it may not work anyway. But we're going to keep our fingers crossed. I probably should have done 40 gauge, or at least 38. But we'll keep our fingers crossed and see if I can get it. It might be too strong for this, though, I'm starting to think. We'll try it. Because any excuse this core has to like fold in on itself, it will do it. <laughs> any freaking excuse to do it, it will. All right. See how it's starting to break up there at the back? We're going to run it anyway. 
We are going to run it, and I'm going to hope for a little bit of luck and see if we can get it. But I do not like the way that it looks at all. So this is going to take uh, some patience in order to get it correctly. Anytime you start dropping gauges on wire for the cores, it typically it can be really fucking finicky. Put a movie up uh, in uh, uh, in the Facebook group. If you guys haven't seen that, it's a Netflix movie. It's called A Dark Place or Dark Time or Dark Something. It's a new Netflix movie. It's really fucking good. Veronica and I watched it last night. What's up, Jesse? Or excuse me, what's up, Bob? How you doing, Bones? What's up, man? Joey, what's up? Sin! Thank you, Sin. You didn't have to do that. That was awfully nice of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The wife will be very happy with that. Barnick is like, I'm already making you money. All right. Oh, I think she just got home. Hey, baby. All right. Oh, man. God. This is going to be a challenge. But with 30, especially at 36 gauge, it's going to be hard. I'll see if I can get it. Well, give it a shot. All I can do, give it a try. Oh, lordy, lordy, don't knock it over. If you can see, see here how it's all broke apart? That's not how you want it to look at all. Just so you know, if it looks like that, you probably need to redo it. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and run it and see if I can get it. This will take a, li this will take a little bit of patience and a little bit of uh, luck, that is for sure. But we'll see if I can get it. Is crazy face here? I haven't seen Drew in forever. Hey, Shane. What's up, buddy? All right. Let's take a look at this thing under the macro. There we go. Look how broke apart that is. All right. There we go. That looks nice. That one like that. All right, there we go. So let's give this thing a shot. See how it runs. I don't want to now. I don't want to stretch it out too much. I want when I I want it to be a little understretched, and, and I'll tell you why. Let's just start it and see. Oh, well, it's too way too fast. Let's just slow it down. All right, that looks like it's laying pretty good. I want it to basically be a little bit understretched so that I can stretch it with the core. Looking pretty good so far. Okay. Looks really good so far, but typically at the beginning is not a problem. Problem is after we get away from the drill a little bit, that's when it's going to, you're going to start seeing some issues come in. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to keep my slider really close to it and just take my time going down. Steven, what's up, man? Philly, M16, what's happening? Spring, how you doing? Vaping mechanic, what's up, dude?
Okay, it looks really good so far. Keep it nice and tight. And actually the core looks nice and tight now that I pulled it. Looks excellent so far. All right, we're going to move that. I'm just moving my slider down about a half inch every time. No need to rush. Nice and slow. Take our time. We're going to get it. Now, when I stopped and started that time, I moved my hand on accident. When I did that, I spaced it a little bit. Not really noticeable to anybody else but myself. Starting to try to twist on me. It's okay. I'm just going to straighten it out. Straighten that out. Best thing, this is the one time that, like, if you can stop and start, if you're good at that, <laughs> you need to do so. If you haven't posted a, your blender, Post a blender! That's awesome, Frank. All right, there we go. That back a little bit. There's always a point in a coil for me. There's always a point where it wants to do go sideways. It always it always seems like especially like you're doing something like this where it's just basically you're just kind of you have you don't have a reef you can't really redo it like with a with a uh, with a fuse build, you know, where you're staggering something you can redo it. With this build you can't. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to get it back in shape. Just a touch. There we go. Now I'll get it back in shape. And I'll tell you what I did, but hopefully you'll be able to see. What I did was I stretched it too much. I put too much tension on it. And it started at Jack. Oh, shit. Oh. So there is a blam, but we're going to keep going. All right. We're all right. So I got a little bit of a mohawk in there. We're going to be all right. There we go.
All right, now I got rid of that. Mo now that it mohawked, it's actually went right back to ex exactly how I wanted it. Another thing about this type of build is if your angle's off, if anything's off, then it will start collapsing on you. It does not leave any room for error. Yeah, it looks terrible, but it's all right. We're going to keep right on going. Flatten it back out best I can. All right, we're more than halfway done. Hey, Mike, what's up, man? You didn't miss anything yet. Be doing your feature here in one minute. Hey, baby. Okay, we're almost done with what I need. How far did I go from that blend? My blend is right there. Ah, oh, dude, I cannot believe. You're amazing. I cannot believe. I'll be done here and probably I gotta finish this up and I one will be done. Uh, okay, that is what we needed. So cut it here and here. All right, pretty good. So what I'm going to do, that part that I messed up. So I messed up in the middle of it and it started to mohawk on me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as the middle and I'm going to wrap this on a two and a half uh, mil jig. And the reason I can get away with that is because it's uh, so small that the ohms will not be too low. Even on a two and a half, if I do a five wrap, it's still going to ohm out over one, way over one. So. So smash this down. Looks pretty damn good. 
So malleable though. Yeah, it's here. It got twisted all up at the end. Let me smash that down so it doesn't come off. Actually, I'm gonna roll this. So put it down here on a block, lay it down, get my mech. All right. What's he doing? Huh? You laughing at him or me? Yeah. What's he doing? Because he's 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 greedy. He's like Heathcliff. He wants everything. You can't satisfy him. All right. Sin gave you fifteen dollars for. She said for dessert tonight. Who? Uh, this lady watched his name. Sin. She gave you fifteen dollars. American. Hey, Thomas, how you doing, man? Does anyone here think that the mesh coils... Yeah, most of them do. It'll tell you, Thomas, if uh, most of them will, I believe. I believe the profile will. Pretty sure. All right, so got my decor here, or my completed coil. I'll do that in a minute. Now, without further ado, we are going to take it to the laptop, and we're going to take a look... How big D coils. Let me get that all set up here, and then we're rocking and rolling. What's up, honey? Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Oh. Big dummy. All right. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that will be a fantastic vape to whoever wins this weekend, or this week, this Friday telling you guys are going to love that. That is a nice little treat for you. I will be making another set of those for myself to go into my new BTFC. All right, guys, we're going to do, we're going back with Mr. Big D Coils, and we are going to take a look. Now, she doesn't, we, she doesn't drink really, Sin. Now that I don't, she doesn't really drink since I don't. I was never a big drinker. She was never a big drinker either, though. She, yeah, she wasn't a big drinker ever. All right, guys, we're going to take it down to the laptop and finish up our feature of the one, Charlie, because you're like, because you're a boss like that. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Vapor1965, how you doing? <laughs> Indented build that Nick did is fucking fantastic. Good to see you, man. All right, guys. Take at, you could go to Project Gollum 81 and take a peek at some Gollum footage. We could do that. Let me grab you here, Mike. Let me grab that. All right. Go here. And we're going to go to Project Gollum 81 is where Mike wants to go. It is Mike's week, so he gets whatever he wants. All right. Let me grab it here. Project 81. There it is. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let me bring you guys down here so you can see what I'm looking at. There we go. Check this out. All right, make sure I'm on here. Yep, we're good. All right, guys, here we go. First, first shot. Look at those aliens in the golem. Holy shit. That looks fantastic. That, my friends, is a big, fat Fralian sitting in the golem RDA. Little glow shot there. Nice. You want, you want to sit down here? You don't have to be on camera. Do you want to sit down here with me? No. Another shot here, a little pitchfork action. That's a nice ass pitchfork. Ado did that. Ado vapes. I believe he is from where's he from? The Netherlands? or I think he's from the Netherlands. Fantastic builder. Look at that, how beautiful that picture is. The Gullum RDA. I love your top cap, man. That top cap is bad as fuck. Oh, look at this. This is Bones. Hey, Bones, here you go. Bones doing a little uh, helix uh, variation. A mini pitchfork framed with two pieces of ribbon, then framed again in the Gollum RDA. Look at this. That's gorgeous, man. Well, I haven't really checked out Ada's... Uh, 
feed, his photography skills have improved tremendously. Isn't that beautiful? That RDA is just so photogenic, man. Beautiful RDA. Oh, look at this. A little naked staple. Well, I'm in the works of having the Ohm Canada team featured, guys. So this is, this is a uh, little uh, preview of what you're going to see. It is a naked staple paralleled with another piece of probably 26 gauge, maybe? 20, I don't know, 26, 28? Look how beautifully it fits in there. They missed one piece of wire. <laughs> Beautiful, guys. This looks like... I was going to say, this looks... Okay. Smurf Ohm FBV in the Gullum RDA. A little uh, staggered in. The Endeavor, topped with the golem. Look how beautiful that sits on there, man, on that brass mech. The Endeavor. A little sneak peek. These are the airflow holes on it. Now, tomorrow, I will do a full review of this RDA. So you will get up close and personal again with it tomorrow. Beautiful shot there. Here we go with Crazy Face. Look at Crazy Face. Look at his photography is amazing. Little braid he did. That's a beautiful picture, man. He has gotten so good with his photography. Beautiful Crazy Face. Little B Collins. B Collins 81. This is Brad Collins. Little stag uh, Staples Tiger Fuse clapped in action in the golem. Okay, this one's gorgeous. Look at that. Bones. Damn, Bones. That's gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. This one. Jesus. Colin. Micro Clapton braid with a uh, parallel with a Clapton. That is Freaking gorgeous, man. Look at that. Look at this. Come here and look at it just real quick. No, come look at it. It's fucking crazy. I'm glad you didn't look. Because if she did, she'd be like, why can't you do that? There you go. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. You might not be able to hear it. Wow. Little noisy cricket with the golem on top. You wanna smoke it, Dave? Or you Damn. That's KLR 420. What's up, KLR? <laughs> uh, good to see you, man. Damn, this is beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Another shot in the Gollum RDA. This thing, this RDA is so photographic, man. Look how beautiful that is. If you guys have not gotten one of these, you need to get it now. I'm telling you. Don't wait for my review. Trust me. It's going to be a good review. I love this thing. Number 88. Drew Pearson. Looks like some I would vape in the golem right there. That's a nice. Those are nice has aliens right there. Little another one from Crazy Face. Jesus, Drew. That is gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous, Drew. Damn, look at that Gollum cap. How cool that is. I just can't get away from Bones' build. Bones is built all over the place. It's everywhere! Mass coils. One of my favorites. Beautiful. 
beautiful build. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that. That's a blue. That's a beautiful picture. Tame Dragon. Look at that bottom there. Number 66. Meech. Beautiful, man. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, if you can't tell, pretty much any build can fit in this. Let's look at this here. This is Proby. Look at Proby. Fucking gorgeous, man. Proby will be featured here in a couple weeks. Be looking at builds like that. Another beautiful shot. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? The RDA is fucking gorgeous. That is, look, there you get a really good shot of the deck. All right, guys, take it back up top. That is the Gollum RDA. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Get back up here to Maine. Beautiful, beautiful design, Mike. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Vape's fantastic, um, but I'll talk about that more tomorrow. All right, so the giveaways that I mentioned, you guys need to get your butts in gear. For the giveaways, make sure you put a comment in the video from Sunday to win some vapes, to win some juice. The video from yesterday to win coils and juice tomorrow. And make sure that you repost from Big D Coils page with the hashtag Black Cat Fam. Also, what does it say here? Is the Gollum RDA taking builders place over the goon? Yeah, pretty much. Fuck the goon. Fuck the goon, man. I'll never buy another goon ever. Again, fuck 528 Customs. They can suck my proverbial penis. <laughs> they're, they're, they're too busy ripping people off to design anything different. If you look at it, it's a, it's a cash grab. It's basically the, 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 new, the new goon. Why would you buy it? It's basically the same thing as the other goon, but it's uh, 0.1 millimeter bigger. Why would you buy that? I wouldn't buy it. That's fucking stupid. Buy the Golem instead. It's fucking, it's, first off, it's a better made RDA, it's cheaper, and it's uh, innovative, it's different, completely different than the Goon, and anything else. Nobody has the clamp system that this, this RDA has. This RDA is fucking phenomenal, man, I'm telling you. And I'll show you how I put my coils in it, too, for maximum uh, flavor. I'll show you how I put my coils in it. Pretty cool. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, people get people ask me the other day, like, uh, I don't know if people are getting mad at me for saying fuck get 528 Customs and fuck the goon, but I don't care. They rip people off. It's an awful company. They they I don't want them anyway associated in our building in, in the building. I know they sponsor builders, and I mean, I know it's a big deal to be on Team Goon, and I respect all the builders that are on there, and, and if they had asked me before I knew all this stuff about them, I would have said yes and been on that team for sure, but I'm not supporting them anymore. No way. No fucking way. That 520, that 25, I hope they are overstocked. And I hope it ends up on 3F8 for like 25 bucks because that's where it should be. It's a piece of garbage. It's so basically, it's a cash grab. I mean, you're going to, it's the same, it's the Goon LP posts with a 25 millimeter deck, 0.1 millimeter bigger than the original, or one millimeter bigger than the original. And it's the uh, Goon OG cap, top cap. That's what you're getting. So yeah. So that's where the, that's their innovation. That's 528's innovation. You know why it's that's their innovation? Because they fucked over so many builders and people that can give them good feedback that nobody will help them anymore. Nobody will work with them. So they're stuck. They have the goon name, but they don't have any original ideas to put to do it. Basically, goon, I wish they would sell goon to somebody who knew what the fuck they were doing so that we could make real goons and, and be innovative like the original goon was instead of just a repeat of everything else they've already made. So anybody, if you like goon, Hey, man, it's your opinion. I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is the fucking truth. So, there you go. No, they've actually, yeah, they've actually ripped people off. I'm talking, like, multiple people off. That company is a fucking, 
Hail the Goon. It says paper one nineteen sixty five. I still have them, and I still have them loaded on one of on a couple of my mechs right now. I love the one and a half. A lot of people like the OG. I like the one and a half, but I like the Goon OG cap on the one and a half deck is what I like. And then this is basically a Goon LP with an OG cap. So it probably would be a great vape. Yeah, it'd probably be great. It'll be photogenic. They put you know nice little thing on the deck. You know, okay. Uh, I don't fucking mind it. Breath. <laughs> Have it their own for eight bucks, right? <laughs> Vape Mechanic said he's selling his as soon as it gets there. But hey, man, I'm not telling you to buy it or not buy it. I mean, it is your opinion. That's your money. You can do with it, do whatever you want with your money. But uh, you can get a golem from Michael Douglas, who is in chat, Mr. Matt. Mike Douglas, he's about six messages in front of you. You want to mess? Uh, he's also Big D Coils. The link to his page is below in the comments. You can go right to his page and uh, get a golem. I wonder if it's stopping. Let me see here. Oh, Lord. It logged me out. Hold on one second. Technical difficulties. Difficulties are technical. There we go. Now it's back. All right. All right. Lord have mercy. So I may now tomorrow on your vape at five, I am going to do a review on the Gollum RDA, but I'm also going to do a build. I'm going to try to squeeze in a little bit more feature on Mike too, because there's some stuff I really want you guys to see. His page is fantastic. Mike's page is fucking fantastic. And I know he wanted to show the Gollum RDA today, but I really wanted to show off some more of his builds. So, Mike, don't get mad. Maybe I'll do it Thursday. Don't get mad if I feature you again. <laughs> or maybe just like a random day, I'll be like, let's look at the rest of Mike's build. Because I absolutely love your page. I'm telling you, the build that Mike did, and we talked about it yesterday after the show, the one that I showed you with the uh, had the twisted square wire in it, it's one of my favorite builds of all time. And the photography on it, that's one of my favorite pictures. I'd love, Mike, if you're listening, I'd love to have a build mat with that build on it. I'd love it. Fucking beautiful. Right, that's one of my favorite builds of all time. Yep. Show me how to stack. Uh, Mike, uh, actually, the thing I do with my, when I do the ribbon in my lips and pull it down, Mike showed me that. Yeah. Just, he got that from Proby and I got that from Mike. Yeah. 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 What do you think about that build, Veronica? Yeah. What do you think now that now now that you're high class, are you gonna are you gonna step out, move on out, move on down the road, get your new man? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm that. I'm trade, your ass in. trade me in for young. Fly. Younger model. You gonna get a younger model of me? Trade me in. Mm -hmm. I would. If I, if I ever get promoted, I'm going. I'm going directly to Ohio State University, picking out a newer, updated version. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just kid. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what does it say? Enter one to one hundred or one to one fifty in Monday's comments. Want to give everyone correct him? It's one to one fifty. One to one fifty. We're doing one to one fifty all the time now. I got too many people entering, so I got to do one to one fifty. The one for Sundays one to one fifty, and the one to Mondays one to one fifty. All the giveaways are gonna be one to one fifty because I got like 70, 80 people now entering. So I can't, I can't do one to one hundred anymore. Ever, there's too many duplicates. I think, you know think I know better about what? Trade anyone in. Not gonna trade me in. I'm talking about you. She, she has people that come into her dental office that she works on that are hitting on her. Yeah. There's one guy he follows her on the Facebooks. Now I'm not really that intimidated because he's only five foot one. How tall is he? No, but he's famous. He's famous. He is famous. He's famous. I don't he, know. He's maybe 5'3". 5'3". No, I'm not intimidated. I'm not worried about him. Not worried about him. Now, if he was like 6'3", and looked like, you know, you like 6'3", like one time, one time when I, when I, my previous, when I was with my, my, my previous wife, my mistake, 
This guy showed up at my house. He's this cop. He was like 6'3", Spanish guy. He's like, yeah, he's like uh, new to the neighborhood. I'm like, yeah. He's like, can I talk to you, come inside and talk to you about some of the things we have going on in your neighborhood? I'm like, fuck that, you can't. He's like, why? You got something in there? I'm like, no. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? I'm not bringing you around my wife. It's like, like, like come over and look like a fucking statue. Get the fuck out of here. Send, a, send your fat partner in here. I'll, I'll talk to him. <laughs> My wife was a slut. Well, she wasn't cute anyway, so. Wow. Nah. No one would be hitting on her. Well, you never know. I know. Look at her. Right now, fucking Rico Suave come in and start dancing. I'd be mean, fucked. What would I do? Can't do nothing. I can't kick his ass. He's huge. Got a gun. I wouldn't be able to fight. I wouldn't be able to beat him up. He'd shoot me. And then where would I be? Dead. Wife. <sighs> be gone. He <laughs> built. <laughs> Charlie said, Guy sounds he's built like JV. JV was muscular. You guys don't know who JV is. Now, JV, God bless you. God bless you, JV. I wish you the best, my friend. I'll tell you, um, it may seem like I'm clowning on you, and, and, and I may be a little bit, but the episode that you were, you were on Truck and Vapes was the funniest shit I ever seen in my life. I swear to God, I, that is, that, I, I, to, that's the best 90 minutes of YouTube I've ever seen in my life. It was fucking awesome. He, he kicked the shit out of me. So I don't want to fight him. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I don't want to fight you for money. I don't want to fight you for no money. I don't want to fight you for anything. He'll fight you for money. Yeah. He start talking shit to him. Fucking punch you in the mouth. Take your wallet. Well, he wouldn't take your wallet. Make you bet. Then beat you up for it. I'm five four. I'm six four, but ugly. Six four. Uh, Jeff Sealer. Oh, Did I say it? Sealer. He sent me a video yesterday. He's like, "Here's how to say my name, motherfucker." <laughs> Good to see you, Jeff. I love Raj's new name. Raj's new name is the best name. Uh, it's not as good as Joey to the motherfucking O. That's fantastic. But I'm not not the math teacher. It's funny. He remembers my story about my math teacher, Raja. <laughs> that guy was fucking great, man. He was a great teacher. Who was your math teacher? His name was Raja. I was in college. Oh, college. I'm I was taking uh, analytic geometry. This shit was so hard. It was so hard. I was so dumb. I was just like sitting there like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like not to be, not to sound like stereotypical, not to sound stereotypical at all, but it was like me and like a bunch of um, people from India, like directly from India on exchange over program and then um, some Asian people and that was it and then me. And all of them are like super smart, like really good. I'm not going to say they're super smart, but they're really, really good at mathematics. They were really, really good. They understood the concepts and they, they picked things up really quickly. But they were so nice to me. They helped. They basically helped me. And so they, I think they felt sorry for me. They, they helped me through the class. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And our teacher was from, um, he was, I think he's from New Delhi, but he was from India as well. And he was over on an exchange program. He, they, he taught at uh, Ohio State, Ohio, Ohio University. And then he went back to India and taught there. So they did like three or four years, but he was really good. Yeah. All right, Mike. See you, see you, man. Scott's like, 5'5", five, five, two, Frank. 5'10", five, sir. 5'10". I think I told somebody one time I was 6'8". They're like, believe me. I was like, okay. I like, believe me, I'm 6'8". Well, we know that ain't true. Maybe you know that's not true. What are we having for dinner, Veronica? I don't know. I ain't thought about it. Have you thought about it, Scott? I'm thinking about it right now. It's pulsing through my brain. Food. It's like when you're old, like your dinner is like your number one thing you do. <laughs> it's like what you think about. It's like pretty much what I think about. Like from like. Well, the kids aren't here. They went to Columbus. Kids went to Columbus. What are they doing in Columbus? It's a big town. Sea bus. What are they doing in Sea bus? Haven't had to go see her sister. Oh, haven't had to go see her sister? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Well, good. New Delhi is in India. We know that, Nick. We know New Delhi. Somebody asked where New Delhi was. It's in India. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get with the times. You sound short, Scott. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm above average size, no, human being. Not. Yeah, I am. If you calculate all the height, now what happened was, what, what had, had happened was, the average male height is brought down by the number of people in China. I brought it down to like 5'4". I'm way, I'm six, I'm six inches over that. 
I'm like a whole, I'm like my whole head is above that. My head's at least, I'm wondering, hold on. How big is my head height wise? We already measured the, the, the is, that, is that pretty much my head? Hold on. Mm. Look at it right there. Take a guess. I got it right here. Take a guess how big it is. From here to here. It's big as fuck. My forehead, my forehead's like probably, you gotta think about it. You got a 101 centimeter forehead right here. Millimeter forehead. You're doing your math skills. I'm good at math. I fucking did good at math. I had Raja. <laughs> New Delhi, no. My, what's up, Woodtick Mike? How you doing, man? Kim, what's up? <laughs> 4 11 to 3 fourths. <laughs> hey, Juan, what's up? Juan, you're not 6 9. He might single? be 6 9. I don't fucking know. I've never seen He's you. 6 9. Is he single? I'm not 5 5. They're all making fun of me. <laughs> you're pretty close to 5 5. <laughs> With a 15 inch head. I got a big ass head, but it ain't 15 inches. It's fucking huge. Especially with this, with my short hair. Like, my fucking head's huge. You know, Scares people, me. People when I watch the replays, I'm like, look at my fucking head. It's huge, huh? People can tell how short they are about your hands. No, nah, my hands are big. No, your hands are not big. They're look how big my hands are. Oh, are you putting it up to the camera so they look larger? No. Short men have little hands. I know, hands are little. My hands are very average size. So. You know what that means. It's my when special have, purpose. Yeah. What? When you, when my you special have, purpose is fine. Perfect size. Ladies, perfect size. <laughs> five five two fifty. Fuck that. I ain't two fifty. I ain't five five. Nope. Wrong again, sir. Run again. Five. I hear you, Veronica. Selena says she hears you. Can we check? All right. You guys, you guys aren't members of the Facebook group. You need to be members of the Facebook group. What I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start doing giveaways in the Facebook group, and everybody else, nobody's gonna get it. Let's remember. So, no link. Come a member of the Facebook group, and while you're there, put congratulations, Veronica, on the Black Cat Cat's Eye Facebook group. Congratulations, Veronica Gibson. Tag her. She's in the group. They don't have to do that. It's, it's cool. Oh, they got to do it. They're part of the Black Cat fam. We all celebrate stuff like this together. 14 inches with chin. Shut up, Wheeler! Well, I don't weigh 175. Charlie said, can we trade for you on camera? For me? <laughs> they want you on here, not me. I'm the, I'm the fucking talent, dude. I am the talent. This is the moneymaker, motherfuckers. Moneymaker! You ain't making no money. I don't want to hear about your special... Chessie says she does not want to hear about my special purpose. I know. I would See, that makes about, about a million of you, Chessie. <laughs> Here's about a million people. Probably more than that. I wouldn't want to hear about it either. Yeah, you do. I do? Yeah. No. Sure you do. If I got like if I got a, like a traffic accident, and you're like, well, something happened to your husband during the accident. You'd be like, what happened? They'd be like, well, his his special purpose, his wiener, was damaged. You would take great concern over that, right? No, because I have other special purposes. That's a lie. That's a lie. I know you do. In my nightstand, so. That's a lie. That's not a lie. Scott, Scott's the best. There's Joshua. Scott's, a, Scott's the best builder in his chair. Ask him. I'm the best builder in the fucking universe. What you're talking about. Tell, name somebody else and do a six car. Live. With all you heathens yelling at me and making fun of me. I don't like it. I still do it. still awesome. There's nobody in this universe that's better. Look up some planets. Find somebody who's better than me. Oh my Guarantee God. you won't. Really? Check out some other planets. Are you really going there? <laughs> <laughs> Top look. Professor Bakes, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Thank you for joining, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> Top bloke. I don't know what bloke means. It's English. I don't think I want to. I don't think it's good, though. <laughs> uh, she won't do it. No, nah, she won't. She won't come on camera. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to be YouTube famous. I do want to be YouTube famous, and I'm not. Sucks. Trying. Very beginning, I've been trying to be... Who wants to see me? Everybody does. Yeah. Everybody wants to... No, I'm being serious. Everybody wants to see you. No. Just stick your head in here with no. me. She won't. Veronica got a promotion. Yep, not really even a promotion. She got, like, a new job, basically. <laughs> yeah. 
How much is that Hayes mod? <laughs> How much is what? The Hayes mod. It's a, it's, a, it's a molecular device. It's Mole what? It's a molecular device. Nothing you need to worry about. Nothing. It's made by Smock. It's like six dollars. Don't worry about it. I'm kidding. Jay, I was just joking. <laughs> trying to take, trying to take my wife, Jay. I don't think Jay watches me. <laughs> He'd be like, shut the fuck up, Dick. I'm not Jay. Can I meet Jay? No, Jay Hayes. Oh. You know Jay Hayes is. Who did I meet? You didn't meet Jay Hayes. We've never met him. No, the one guy. We can meet him. We go to Jersey quite a bit. No. If you I, want to meet him. Met, He's met. super cool. Mrs. Oh, Jack the Vapor's got something for you. Mrs. Black Cat, just slap his forehead once. Knock his ego back down the sides. <laughs> Lower the coil. I want to know the brand of coffee you drink, Scott. Must have to say it does. That the donut shop. Donut shop caffeine. Well, you gotta remember, I'm telling you, this is what it is. First off, I'm fucking awesome. That's part of the reason why I act like this. Secondly, I, I don't talk at all at work. The people talk, <laughs> I'm meeting the guy was talking to me and literally looking at my face like, the entire time. At one point he's like he like looked at me and he kinda got confused because I was like looking at him. And I think he thought I was angry with what he was saying. I wasn't angry. I just gave absolutely zero fucks. Zero fucks. This is my zero... That's my zero fucks face. Completely. It's not an angry face. Yeah, he would give me a receipt for it. He probably would. He'd probably be like, hey, it's $6.99, Scott. Here's your receipt. I'd be like, thank you, Jay. Charm, probably would. <laughs> Jay's awesome. Need a, I don't need a dildo slap, Joey. We do not need that. I told you, my my daughter came up behind me after dinner the other day. I was full, relaxing on the couch, having a vape, enjoying my night. She came up behind me and smacked me in the head with that fucking dildo. That thing hurt like a motherfucker. Rang my bell. Rang my bell. I was like, I don't know why the dildo keeps going around the house. Oh, the Jay Hayes mod is fucking absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I bet it's going to be impossible to get. It's going to be really tough to get. I mean, you got to be a high end patron to get it. And uh, when I say high end, you got to be a, a upper tier patron, which Jay has. Jay has like almost seven hundred patrons. I mean, he's got a ton, and um, it's going to be really hard to get. And and it, basically, anybody who gets the opportunity to get it, I'm telling you right now, if any of you listening or anybody who watch me. You get the opportunity to get one, find the money and buy it, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because about a year from now, it's probably going to be worth three times the amount that you paid for it. And I'll probably buy it. No, you won't. But no, I won't. I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, it's not going to be many. I don't even, he doesn't even know if he's going to make another run of them. So this may be the only one he makes. But it's gorgeous. If you haven't seen, he's got the video on um on youtube he talks about shows a little bit it's fucking gorgeous and he goes into the detail like that's the thing i really like about jay and especially with his reviews is he's so detail oriented and i'm not detail oriented so like i i like watching people that are like that like if you listen to my review i'll be like oh that's good i like this like that i don't go into the details about things i just give like a general opinion and i'm pretty pretty satisfied like i don't really a lot of things don't bother me like about so it has to be really really bad for it to bother me like something has to be really, really bad with the product for it, for me to be like, I can't stand that. I won't use it. Um, but I don't, cause I don't pay attention to details and it kind of sucks. It's kind of good and it's kind of bad in a way. It's kind of good cause a lot of things don't bother me, but it's kind of bad in a way. Cause like, you know, you can't really make an educated decision without considering that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Tell me about it. Like high end. <laughs> Raj is trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> I know a guy. I, I always say that. Yeah, Jay's patrons. And not only, but it's not just his patrons. I mean, I'm a patron. I'm not going to get it. There's no way. It won't get to me. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much he makes from his patrons. I don't know. I don't ask. A lot. You should ask. No, it's none of my fucking business. You should ask. That's another thing that bothers me about not not and this doesn't involve anybody. I'm not saying it by anybody, but like how how much somebody makes from something like that is not anybody's business. 
You know what I mean? It's not my business. Well, okay, I'm not going to say that because everybody has a right to do whatever they want to do, but it's not my fucking business. You know what I mean? It's not my business at all. Yeah, they'll go before. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be sold out. As soon as, as, soon as he opens it up, they're going to be gone. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Juan. Enjoy that, brother. Enjoy that, Juan. You're welcome, man. I love you. <laughs> Merle. I <laughs> know I'm not. Hazer. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love Jay. Yeah, something like that. All right, guys, we're going to cut it short. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. There's a ton of good stuff on YouTube tonight. You got uh, Fog Life, I think, is on at like 9. But you have Nick is going to be on probably pretty soon after this. He'll probably be on like 637. That's End Divine 83. If you don't know who that is, you really need to watch him. I know. I think I've got a few people in here that don't know who Nick Divine is. And Divine 83, he is the best builder on YouTube, without question, out even in argument. I mean, he is the best. If you want to learn about building, if you want to learn about products, if you want to learn about vaping, Nick is the man to watch. It's a great show. I'm always there in the chat. Um, great chat. Please tune in and watch him. Then you also have Fog Life tonight. And I'm trying to think if there's another show on tonight, but I can't really remember. Is ST or somebody on tonight? I'm not sure. If you could help me out, I would. Oh, good luck, Professor. Good luck, man, with your Patreon, brother. Good luck to you, my friend. All right, Clutch, see you, man. I love you guys. Have a fantastic night. I will see you tomorrow on the Vape at 5. If you're in recovery, make sure you stay strong, and I promise I will, too. See you.